Okay, y'all, it's early on Saturday morning. Nobody's up with me. And you know the guys are here to fix my fireplace. Nobody told me I had hair dye on my nose, so I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But that's actually not why I'm on. So I'm dyeing my hair. Let me tell y'all something. Dying locks is a bitch. And I tried to go gray. I really did, y'all. I tried to see if I could get that whole pretty salt and pepper ass look going. It wasn't going for me. I feel 25, not near 50. So fuck that. But that's not why I called y'all. I want y'all to see the plastic cap that I found at Sally's. Y'all see this? Let me let me show you what it looks like. Hold one up in comparison to my head. Okay? Processing caps for us long hair folks. Look at that. Look at this. Because my daughter's, uh, one of my daughters has really long hair. And uh, my youngest daughter is not trying to cut her locks anytime soon. So I would anticipate she'll be needing that soon. But can you imagine this? I actually also have a swimming cap that is made for locks. That every time I look at it and think about trying to put it on, I just am like... It looks like a challenge. It's like putting on a goddamn duvet cover, y'all. But I just had to show you this. I don't, you know, I stumbled upon this at Sally's. Yes, I'm dying them. <laughs> Girl, look, um, the, the people who have known me a long time will know. I see that my friend, uh, Matt, is on here. And I don't know if she missed me in my hair dying days. But I would dye my hair any fucking color. My sister's a hairstylist. And I really wanted her to do my rainbow locks. Because she does amazing rainbow style. And look at that. I got a red nose, y'all. I got to wipe that off some more. I answered the door. I'm talking to the fireplace people. And they don't tell me I got this big ass dot of hair dye on my nose. But because I live dangerously, this is what I'm coloring my hair. Tangerine fire. Now, see, currently in my sink. And the reason why I do it in this sink is because the sink is glass. And it is red. But... There's all the leftovers of my stuff that I have to wash out. Yes, I do use my lovely bathroom sink to dye my hair because it's red. Ain't nobody going to see it. But my sister's a hairstylist, so she taught me how to do non-boxed hair color with developer and mixer. Um, because it's more reliable. I've had some pretty bad box results. I'm sitting here looking at these, at this hair, these, these, um... I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repackage the rest of these bags after I finish dyeing my hair. So yeah, I've had some pretty interesting things happen when dyeing my hair. Um, one of those being um, being called Lucille Ball. And I know I kind of look like her, but don't say it. Um, so after years and years and years of hit or misses with boxed hair color and i'm hearing this noise because they're putting this damper in y'all i had a 600 dollar heating bill in january when it got cold last year and i have a literally i believe that my stuff is going straight up the fireplace well also if you have outside walls you should put these insulators in your plugs. I'm going to ask my daughter to do that while I'm gone because I can feel the air coming in from the outside wall. Shadow taught me that. So, yeah, I love Lucy, too. But, yeah, so, yes, this is a fiery tangerine. I got the timer on. Of course, I know. Hello, Adanya. I know, of course, that, you know, it's not going to look the same as the bottle because my hair is darker. But I think I figured it was a safe bet. This is also in memory of my mama. Because y'all know my mama loved her some red hair. And when she passed away, you know, that's what I'm to tell you about black folks and, and, and um, being mortician. You know, don't ever send me no white folks when I die. Black folks will make you look better in death than they did in life. And when they did my mother's body and did her hair, they did it right. I thought that my sister had gone and done it. She might have. But if she didn't do it, the 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 mortuary did it. My mama loved her some fire orange hair. I'm also a bit different than most people. My, well, my family, somebody took a picture of my mother laying in state and it was absolutely beautiful. And every now and then I do go and look at it because she'd been so sick for so long. But my mama's hair was banging at her funeral. And so I'm sitting here looking at myself because I'm getting ready to go on a business trip. 
for um, my instructional design job, my full-time job. And um, I'm like, I can't go to the place of my birth looking all thrown away. So I dyed my hair. I'm dyeing my hair again today. So, But I just, I'm not here to show you the hair dye. I'm here to show you this fantastical motherfucking bag, y'all. This is amazing. Now I can move around while my hair processes. Girl, they, they can't do much for me. But in any case, I can move around while my hair processes and I don't have to worry about getting dye everywhere. And I actually have the plastic bag on my head. So Sally's, you know, um, say what y'all want about Sally's. Um, I don't go in there for advice because like, you know, you don't go in there for advice. Um, cause I find even the black folks that work there don't know what they're doing, but I've never seen these in the Asian or black, um, beauty supplies that care thing, carry things for us. And they got to realize we draping too. So I would hope that the local people would carry them. But if you can't get these bags, um, you know, from Sally's or if there's no Sally's near you, then get them, excuse me, online. Let me see. Let me find the packaging so I can show it to y'all. But I was just like, yes, bitch. Yes. Hold on a second. This is what it looks like. Extra, extra large processing caps. Sally's. Okay. Now, um, yes. Well, I don't know. I just follow what they've done to me. There were only a few bucks. I don't have the price tag on here, strangely enough. Let me look. Um, I've always had a plastic bag put on my cap, put on my head when I'm getting my hair done. There's no price on these. So I know they weren't free, but they weren't expensive because I'm cheap. I'd have taken a grocery store bag and put it on my head just as well. But the fact that they do make these for us, and I even think the check on the cover is black. Hold on, I dropped it. Yeah, she black. See, they knew what they was doing. So, oh, that's the banging from them putting in my new damper, y'all. I'm going to be able to close my chimney. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Um, also, you know, people have been asking about, you know, different new products for us to make. And somebody mentioned hair care products. Um, so I'm going to consult my sister who also makes hand sewn wigs. Now, those wigs start at $1,000. But if y'all are interested, my sister will make you a wig that will make you never want to wear your hair again. <laughs> I ain't even lying. She makes all kinds, and she also does a really good job of caring for natural hair. And as you can see in my family, we, we, we short-haired only if we want to be because um, we have to do some real bad things to our hair for our hair not to grow. So, yeah, Sally's. I don't know how much the bag is. Uh, I'm going to consult with my sister about the spiritual hair care because she is a prophetess. She um, doesn't, you know, practice for people, but she's, um, woo, she's something else. And stuff comes to her in dreams and she's really um, an amazing person. Um, watch my hair bounce on Instagram. Um, I'm going to go try to find out if I can get the rest of this hair dye off my um my nose, I'm actually feeling pretty good about myself because I didn't have any Vaseline for my edges. And I, you know, I'm yellow, so I didn't want to get dye all over. I did a pretty good job. But yeah, really, I have no talent when it comes to hair. That's why I have locks, okay? My sister, when she left town, I was just like, I got them right before she left. But when she moved away and moved to Georgia, um, I was like, no, no, no more, no more perm, no, 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 just locks, right? After my mother passed away, because my mama, you know how folks are be about hair. I was just like, well, mama's gone. She ain't gonna have no fit. The rest of my family had a fit. And you know what's funny? They all have gone natural now, with the exception of like one. And I'm still the best looking one with natural hair. But they talked about me like a dog when I got locks. And my shit is flowing and my shit is pretty. And I'm very proud of it. So, anyways, let me go, and I'm looking at my timer. I got, like, I don't know, 19 minutes. I don't know. I might need to take this out a little bit sooner than that, because it's obviously not necessary at this point. But, gonna let it process, have myself some coffee, um, and, uh, yes, natural hair. Yeah, perms are... Well, I don't know why any sister would use a perm, but I, I get it because I wore one for years. But the bottom line is this, is when it rains, your hair still goes back home. 
a perm, you still have to blow dry it, curl it, straighten it. Because my friends used to call me Oprah. I'm going to move away from my fireplace because they make it too much noise. Um, my friends used to call me Oprah because I never put my hands in my hair. My sister did my hair, did a wrap. I wrap it up every night, wear it, boom. Um, but um, when it rained one night and I was getting my baby out of the car, it's almost 20 years ago. Oh, girl. Whew. Baby, y'all, I looked like Bozo because I had a red bob. And I couldn't do nothing with my hair. I don't even know what I did with my hair so I could go to work the next day. Hell, I might not have even gone to work the next day. So my thing was, and that's when I kind of thought about going natural. I tried it before. It wasn't a good look. But something happened to my hair after I had my daughter that loosened my curl pattern. And I actually liked it. The only thing is, right, just go home, you know. <laughs> the only thing about... um you know, I'm, I'm, these are heavy, you know, especially when they're wet. They're not usually heavy um, when they're dry, but it is long hair problems, getting your purse stuck on your shoulder, your hair all wrapped up in it. Sometimes at night, if I don't wrap it up, I'll pull my hair. It has its issues, and I have thought about cutting it, um, and I'm still on the... Um, the, the bridge for that because I would love to try some wigs and a fro and I and I had spent a couple of summers ago talking my daughter out of it because she wanted to have a fro and incidentally her, her boyfriend who's not black he he loves her locks he's like no don't please don't cut your hair so it's like I don't know I don't sometimes I just want to get the weight off so i don't know i don't know if you guys saw this on instagram either i found a new storage solution for my dollhouse and my tools and stuff and this helped clean up a lot of stuff in my uh there's the dollhouse i'm still working on it it's probably going to be you know for the rest of my life but um i i found uh these tables at ikea incidentally i'm kind of glad i got this because i went looking for this one and this is where I keep all my materials for titty grease and sewing and fabrics and stuff. But I found these and then um, I put two of them together and I used my silhouette machine, which is a machine that cuts out vinyl and paper and fabric. Okay. Um, and I put this, um, it's like, what do you call that hologram type of, so it looks pink, blue, depending on what the sun is on it. And, uh, put that on um to label my stuff so i am yes those are the alex drawers sure you know me <laughs> you know that your ikea well too those are the alex drawer system and then there's the tops you can buy at ikea and just put them on top so you immediately have a table or a desk with storage i also purchased a 3d printer um oh my god i have something else i want to show y'all i'm just hoping that i can get this out easily okay so i went to a gym show um well i didn't go to a gym show i went to a a, a psychic fair a few weeks ago and i go looking for specific things because i'm going to start selling miniature occult items and start making miniature rooms so i'm going to turn the camera around i'm going to show you all what i got first of all look at that now this is tiger's eye i have rodenite as well let me get the rodenite one out because that's my favorite stone um, and show you guys what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out how to price them now. Um, but this, I'm going to turn this around. And I bought a jewelry finding that made the perfect stand. So if you guys can see that, this is actually, stay there, road night. This is actually a jewelry bead. Okay. And I'm going to start um, selling these. You know, in case you got a miniature altar or you just want to put some little crystals around you. Isn't that the cutest? I think I told you I got the idea from somebody at another uh, show. And these have cubic zychronia in them as well. So they got a little bling to them. So I am not going to sell them attached. I am not going to glue them to the stands. Why? Because I don't normally glue my crystals to stand. You might want to take the crystal off the stand and hold it. But yeah, I'm going to. Oh yeah, I got my nails did. Y'all, I gotta go to. I gotta go to work in Chicago for a week. So I decided to get a gel manicure, something that I could not destroy, and I got my toes done. That was last week. It's hard to take care of yourself, but I do in encourage you to do so. So anyways, y'all, I'm going to go check the progress of my dippity-doo. 
Did anybody's mama ever use dippity do? Now, if you had a white mama, she probably did. My mother's hair was straight. Well, it was really weird because my mother and my grandmother and her sisters, I just saw a picture of my aunt from 1975. They could wear their hair straight by just simply putting it in those hard rollers. But when they wanted to wear a fro, they could. My, my mother and them had the most amazing black hair. It was the craziest thing. But in any case, my mama used to use that nasty ass dippity do. And yeah, it got her hair straight, but it made it so hard. And it was full of alcohol. Ew, God, please don't put that in your hair. I love my mama, but there's some things that she used that I don't use no more. Comment. Somebody posted a picture of leaving a whole bunch of cleanser in the tub. Why was that my mama? Why was that my mama? Why would my mother get out of the tub and sprinkle it full of comment and then not wash it out again till she got ready to, to take a bath? Maybe, ah, it made her wash it out. You know, those, those things we do. Yeah, right. So yes, my mother, my mother, I don't know, their hair was more wiry, but they could get a fro. I have to find this picture of my mother looking at my little sister clowning and she has this fro and she doesn't have any, you know, um, I don't know, no blowout kits or nothing like that. But when she wanted it super straight, she used to use this white folks perm called Curl Free. Yeah, I'm I'm keeping all that out my hair. And you know, I know the dye is not necessarily good for you, but baby, I something had to be done. So Ajax, yeah, my mama used Comet. My mama was a Comet woman. And so I called myself being rebellious when I got to be older by buying lemon Comet until I started making my own cleansers. Let me go get this hair dye off my nose because it's really messing with me. <laughs> and uh, go and find myself some uh, some shampoo so I can wash my hair and condition it. So that's another thing. I'm going to actually save this cap. I'm going to rinse it out and dry it out. And should I? No, that's just, that's, that, is, that is just cheap. I'm, because I'm going to use another one to condition my hair. But anyways, I love you guys. Um, I will be not online as much next week. And you know what? I was just thinking about this last night. I have a lot of reading to do in between this business trip and Daughters of the Moon because I have to prepare my presentation for that. Um, I'll be speaking on the fire next time, how to use fire, uh, the element of fire in your magic. Um, and I have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to really start scaling back my Facebook time, especially because um, it's depressing. It's real fucking depressing. There's a lot of shit going on in this world. I try to stay abreast of most of it, but this is the time of year where the seasons are changing, the earth is dying, and I need to keep my energy high. Yes, I am the PR director for Daughters of the Moon, and we will be in Baltimore. Um, I believe that's October 19th. So I will see you guys there. There are tickets still available. You will thoroughly enjoy yourself. And I am... Um, going to be in Chicago next week. So if y'all want to have dinner with me, I think I am free on Tuesday night. That's the only night I'm free if you want to meet for dinner. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm tied up. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on that it just, I can't. And it's really soul draining. And, you know, I'm just going to work on, I'm going to work on me. Because that's one thing that all of us can do. What the hell? Y'all hear that? I didn't know there was going to be any power tools involved in the installation of a damper. I thought you just dropped it in. But you know what? I'm going to let them do their thing because I know I'm going to be sick when they pass me the bill. So, anyways, let me get off of here and live my best life. And I hope that you do, too. Um, you guys take care. And like I said, Sally's, you want a bag big enough for your locks? Sally's, baby, Sally's. I've been not, not seen man one of y'all out in public with this on your damn head either. All right. Love, peace. Afro-grease. Stay black.